Remember my comment last week about a dropping a fart in Shemanus and smelling it in Croatia? It's actually we're dropping a fart in Shemanus and smelling it in Saturn with these changes that we're actually contemplating. This is insane. Great. Okay. Um, the survey had 156 participants, which really isn't even close to being statistically valid. As we know, a statistical valid um, per, uh, survey is 390 participants for a 5% margin of error and 1,000 participants for 3% margin of error for a community our size. So 156 um, participants, which really only 144 are locals, is, to my view, not statistically valid. I get more in my Facebook polls. Um, I got 260 in my last one and 631 in the one before that. Um, the time of year to do the, the uh, survey, in my opinion, was uh, questionable. Um, being in July and August, you know, there's people away. Um, you know, young people especially are, are vacationing with their families, as Councillor Mann has talked about. The majority of people who surveyed were over or responded were over 50 years old, 71% of those. Um, 144 responses out of 32,000 is 0.49%, which means 99.51% of our residents didn't respond to this. And we're taking this survey and moving it forward based on the majority, the significant majority not participating. So I do have a question or a, a concern about that. Um, I find the questions were quite leading. Um, there wasn't much, uh, well, they're very leading. Um, Two contributors engaged in the mapping exercise, which I thought was interesting. 113 of the 156 have already taken steps to prepare for climate change. So the people that responded obviously are climate disciples already. Um, the citizen survey that we've talked about before from 2022, 7% said climate was a top priority. 0.49% responded to this survey. So I think the majority of our residents don't think this is a priority at all, and, and I'm, we've already heard that some are questioning why we're even going down this road. I do have a concern about interviewing kids in grade five and six and scaring them about climate change, but it, because again, the questions seem to be leading. Um, so I do have a couple questions that are fairly high level uh, to the uh, consultant and, uh, and our climate change specialist, which encompass the whole concept. Um, is CO2 a pollutant? Uh, carbon dioxide is one of the pollutants that the International Panel of Climate Change has initiated, um, indicated that uh, is an anthropogenic caused one of six pollutants. Okay. Um, what percentage of our of the greenhouse gases in our atmosphere is CO two? I would have to get back to you on that answer. <laughs> Okay, so I can answer that, it's 0.04%. Um, the majority of our greenhouse gases on the planet, 97% is uh, caused by water vapor. So 0.04% of our, again, this is going high level obviously, 0.04% of our entire atmosphere is CO2. Um, humans cause 29 gigatons per year of a total of 750 gigatons of CO2 in our atmosphere every single year. So that works out to 3.8%. If CO2 is 0.04% of the greenhouse gases and we apparently cause 3.8%, then we're making a catastrophic economic, we're making catastrophic economic decisions based on 3.8% of 0.04% or 0.00152% of annual greenhouse gas emissions worldwide. And Canada is responsible for 1.89% of world emissions, resulting in 3.8% of 0.04% times 1.89% or 0.00002873% of greenhouse gas emissions. Stay with me. BC represents 9.6% of Canada's emissions, so 3.8% of 0.04% times 1.8% times 9.6% equals 0.0000276% of worldwide greenhouse gas emissions. North Cowichan's emissions according to our environmental department, is 337,822 tons per year, or 0.0052% of BCs. So, 
3.8% of 0.04% times 1.8% times 9.6% times 0.0052% means North Cowton is responsible for 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 4, 4 percent of worldwide greenhouse gas emissions. And yet we have policies that will cost hundreds of thousands of dollars of our residents' taxes and likely cost millions of dollars in the future. Remember my comment last week about a drop in a fart in Shemanus and smelling it in Croatia? It's actually we're dropping a fart in Shemanus and smelling it in Saturn with these changes that we're actually contemplating. This is insane. I'll stop there for now. I do have more comments. <laughs>